Hey guys, Freddy here, owner of Lawn Thumbs, where I grew this business from zero to over two million in revenue. And I'm here to show you how to succeed. So today I wanna to talk about one of the most important parts of your business, the truck setup. So let's get into it. I'll meet you around back. Here's my latest truck bed setup. So I just got this back yesterday. There's still some minor tweaks that we need to do to make sure that this is gonna be ready for the road, but we have plenty of time to iron out those little kinks. But I just wanna show you some of the details here. Now, we're also gonna go into a lot of these things, but, and you're gonna probably wanna know more. So what I wanna show you is that we've got this join feature that if you look at the subscribe button, right next to it, there's a button called join. Let me go over the three tiers with you. So for $1.99, you get access to my Twitter where I'll add you in my circle. And if you have any questions, I can answer you there. And then we have the tier above that, which is $9.99. And that will give you access to my Facebook group where we have a monthly meeting chat and you can we can do hot seats or answer your questions that you need. Uh, I may have a topic and I might think that it's important to share. Um, and that's $9.99. Then the Last tier is $99, and that covers the two tiers before, plus it gives you my phone number so we can go in-depth with your business, and I can help you kind of consult with you on a you know, weekly, daily basis if I need to, just depending on what the needs are for your business. So consider doing that. That's In that group is where I'll give you the measurements that you're going to need if you're going to want to do this yourself. I can go into details about your truck if I could help you with that. So consider doing that, but that's enough of that. Let's go into this custom bed. So let's start with this one here. So this is a truck bed that we custom make. This is going to be, this right now is my eighth custom bed and we've got one more in the shop and that'll make nine. And that's where I think we're going to be for this year, have nine full routes for mowing. So this one's brand spanking new. One of the things I want to show you is that we've got the springs on them. So when you open this up, comes down pretty simple. And to lift it up, you know, so to make it go down easier and up faster, all you have to do is just tweak, tweak this a little bit, you know, bring it back a little bit. Um, but there's the spring, really useful. And we've got the little pegs here for the mowers. So let me move this one out of the way so you can see it. So that's what it looks like. So you can have two mowers here. One right there and then one right behind it. So you can have two setups here, two mowers I mean, little 21 inch. And then here you can have all the way to a 48 inch and still have a few inches left for room. The new addition that we've done as opposed to our old setups, was we had those 15 gallon tanks, one 15 gallon for regular mix, regular gas, the other 15 gallon tank for mix. Well, I thought that was too much. So what we did was we took one of those 15 gallon tanks, cut it, sealed it. So we have plenty of gas and not as much for mix, but still plenty. And with these gas tanks, we can actually fill them up and not feel like we're carrying too much gas everywhere we go. Because a lot of times with the 15 gallon ones, we don't want to fill up the 15 gallon mix tank all the way. And then sometimes you're left not knowing if you have enough in there from day to day. So, and then we've got the holsters here for gas. So, I just mentioned earlier how we're going to make some tweaks to this custom bed. So let me go over one of those tweaks right now. So when we built this tank, this custom bed, we kind of stayed in spirit with the old setups, right? Where we've got the 15 gallon tank on this side, a 15 gallon tank on that side. Well, because we don't need that, my guy that made this wasn't really kind of wanting to change too much. So he he still left the tank on that side. So as you can see, I don't have a hose on there because I, what I want to do is move them both to this side so they'll be easier to, to fill up rather than kind of filling one up and then having to walk around or climb on top and fill up the other side. So I want them both on this side and then we're going to create a cubby here so the hoses will go like this and the hoses, the, the nozzles will be down here. So we're going to cut this out and build kind of like a small cubby so we can hold the holsters, uh, the guns nozzle guns so and we're still going to have plenty of room for the mower because we usually typically use a 36 or a 40 inch we really rarely ever go any bigger than that so there's gonna be plenty of room so that's kind of a new addition that we're doing 
Another new addition that we did was for the debris bin. So we've put a lock in it this time so that when we're driving around and turning, it's not going up and down. It's not kind of making noise and it's not, because eventually enough knocking on anything, you're gonna break things. They're just naturally gonna happen. So we put this lock here. So if we're gonna, when we go to lift it up, all we do is lift that up and then we open the other side door and all the debris will come falling out. Another thing we did, it's kind of hard to see, so I'll try and do it on both sides, but we put the hinges a foot and a half into the frame. Here's the old setup where the, the hinges are all the way at the end, so it requires a lot more muscle to lift the box up. With this setup, because the box will be full when you go to lift it up, it will be a lot easier to tip the bin. This is where the debris would just slide right out. So typically you would open this up first, lift up on the other side, and it'll all come down. So what I'm gonna do is get the mower, if it starts, hopefully, and ride up. Sat out too long, maybe we don't use that. Hey, essential equipment right here. All right, essential. So one of the things I didn't mention earlier, but now I'll be able to show you, is we have a camera put on now. So now, because of all the equipment that's back here, sometimes the debris is full, even if it was completely empty, with all the mesh between here and the cab, it's really hard to see in reverse. So that camera really helps out. You can, as long as this is up, my guys will be able to back up uh, and see everything around them. So now you're probably wondering what something like this costs. Now, I'm really hesitant to give you a price because it could depend on a lot of different factors. How much your metal costs at your, where you get metal, how much it would cost for you to hire somebody out to do this, what kind of welding machine you have, the list can go on and on. So let me just kind of tell you how I priced it or how much it cost me based on me getting this one done. So with all the materials, you're looking at about 2,300 bucks for just the metal material. And now there's a lot of waste in there too, because even if you think you've got all the measurements perfect, you're gonna to need to cut, you're gonna to need to buy more material. So 23 to 2,500 bucks for material. And then from there, it's just the labor. Now it took my guy, who's not cheap, took him about two and a half weeks to do this. And, and that's actually not going from sun up to sun down every day. That's just whenever he could do it. Um, so I was actually paying him to kind of go around and do other things, you know, push snow. So I'm not really sure how much labor it would actually cost to do this, um, but that's just kind of an idea. If you were to hire somebody out to do this, I mean, I don't know what, uh, you know, welders charge per hour, but I bet you it's not cheap, $75. So you can imagine it would take a, a full-time welder if you're lucky two weeks budget it for like two weeks for like a welder who knows how to do everything because every bed that i've ever had made or or we're working on everybody has always told me it's going to be faster it's going to take faster but then it ends up taking a lot longer every single time so that's why i wouldn't budget it even if you had you were really good and it would only take you a week i would still budget it's going to take you two to two and a half weeks to do this so hopefully that helps guys by the way if this was really useful to you please subscribe hit the like button, share with your friends. Let me know in the comments too, what you think about this custom bed and my setup here. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. I appreciate it guys.